Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is, uh, well, you already know what it is. It's 41 Willie's Jeep. Um, so there it is right there. It's not an actual Hot Wheels. It's a M2. I don't even know what that is. Machines 2, I think. I don't know. But I bought, uh, I've bought some of these before. Uh, they have some really nice cars. I actually have a couple more that I bought today up here that I'll do later. Um, I went into my local Walmart the, in the town that I work and stopped by there after work and just had to get a couple things and uh, mostly it was gloves to, I was running low on gloves to, uh, that I use when I resin. And so uh, I found a helicopter, which I've been wanting to do a helicopter one. It's not really the type of helicopter I'd like, but I haven't been able to find one yet. I want to do a military type one more like an Apache or a Black Hawk or something like that. This one's just a regular, almost looks like a news, uh, almost looks like the old 70s one with the big bubble glass front, you know. Um, so, so I found a few Hot Wheels uh, in there. They were stocked up, which they usually aren't. So that was nice. So this one was there and I picked it up today and it inspired, inspired me to do this one tonight. And so my, my, what I want to do is do a gold background because, um, I'm thinking this is more like a beach, like it would be going across a beach. I don't know if I'm just remembering like some old movies and, and have seen a vehicle like that. I know it's a Jeep, but it's just kind of a, it kind of looks like a safari type Jeep, but I'm thinking more desert safari, you know, maybe not safari. That's not a good word. But I'm thinking desert for some reason. So I'm going to do gold with some black. And I think I'm going to throw a little bit of white in there just to throw in a little bit of white. But that'll be the dust or whatever you want to call back. And I might have some some tracks on there. Um, if we'll see what we'll see how it goes. So um, that's what I want to do. And uh, so all I got to do is mix the paints and set up the canvas and we'll get going. I've already got the white and black mixed up. I got some uh, sealed here, some cups with lids on them with the paint. So all I gotta do is mix the gold and we should be good to go. All right, we got the paints mixed and I'm gonna uh, level it. And of course, if you haven't watched any of my videos or are trying to learn from these, you always want to level your canvas because um, if not, when it's drying, it will it'll run off, and you'll have what I call a paint slide. So I always level it to make sure make sure it's all level, and it's pretty level because I have lost a couple pieces that were really nice to a paint slide, and it's very frustrating. So also tonight I've got to, I'm going to resin a piece um, that's done. It was actually for a client. Um, they wanted a. I met him at a an art show or a festival, art festival, and uh, he talked to me about getting a Ferrari done. That's what he wanted was a Ferrari, and he wanted it in the flag colors. And so I was like, yeah, I can do that. So he took my card and he said he would, you know, get a hold of me and stuff. And usually I don't hear from people, 90% of the people I don't hear back from when I talk to them, they want a commission piece. I figured they just forget about it, lose the card, or just were yanking my chain. Who knows? But... He actually contacted me the very next day, sent me an email, and, uh, you know, told me who, who he was, that I had talked to him at the, I talked to him, at the, met him at the festival, and, uh, oh, stinkers, I hate it when that happens. I met him at the festival and uh, talked to talked to me about a Ferrari, which I remembered. 
and uh, I talked to a lot of people, but so a lot of people I sometimes I recognize them, sometimes I don't. Uh, don't remember names very well, so but I do remember the conversations, and I remembered talking to somebody about about the uh, Ferrari. Couldn't really picture him in my head, but I knew I'd talk to somebody, so so I was like, that's cool. So he told me what he wanted, again, reminded me. So he wanted a Ferrari themed one, and he wanted it in the colors of the logo. He even sent me a link to an image of a logo online. That was awful nice of him. And so, it is basically yellow, and then it has the, I'm, what I'm going to be guessing is the colors of the Italian flag, red, green, and yellow, I think it was, yeah, or white, sorry, red, white, and green were the colors, besides the background of yellow. And so I decided to do a yellow background because the logo actually is mostly yellow in the background. And then I did, well, I should have the video put up before this one because I'm going to resonate tonight and post the video, edit it, and get it posted. So you'll be able to see it. But anyway, and I'll probably talk about it in that video as well. Because I, before I even resonated it, I went ahead and painted it. I had to order a car online. And before I even resined it, I set the car on it, got the car delivered, and it was a little bit more expensive than just like a regular, it was a Hot Wheels, but it was more expensive than a hot, regular Hot Wheels, because it's an older model, so it was a little bit more, I think it was around $15 which I'm used to spending usually between $1 and $3 for most of the Hot Wheels I buy. And sometimes I will spend a little bit more, 5 five to 10 So that's probably about the most expensive one I bought for a, a, a themed one. And... Uh, making a design on it. You'll see later. I don't know what it'll look like. So anyway, I I set it on the car. I s take a picture of it. I send it to him to make sure that this is what he wants before I even attempt to resin it. And so... I don't hear back from him for a couple days. And when he first contacted me, he was emailing me right back within, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes after I sent him an email. So he was pretty quick to respond. And when he didn't respond for a couple days, I was a little worried. And I saw, so I sent him another email saying, Hey, this is, I've got it ready. I'm, I haven't resined it yet. If this is not what you like, I'll repaint it. I'll do another one. Uh, just let me know. If it's unless you, and if you do like it, then I'll finish it up and we'll get it to you. I don't hear from him, so I, I haven't heard from him now for a couple of weeks. So I'm just gonna paint it or resin it and just sell it to whoever wants to buy it now. So that was kind of what um, happened on that one. So. I'm going to go more minimal on this. Well, I didn't want that.
Yeah, I'm trying to decide whether I want to add white to it or not. But, excuse me. I'll have to cut that out. Ah, shoot, I just stuck my fingers in the paint. to that I think the black looks really great on it as it is I love the webbing of it sinking nicely so then we'll just have the car here like this going through going through the desert about how marked it is. What I'm doing is marking where the wheels would be because I want to put a I'll put tire marks in this area. Sometimes these simplistic uh, patterns or less is more type thing is what a lot of people call it. It really does turn out really good. So I think that'll be a good piece. And uh, we'll have a really nice piece there. I'm going to do this little black spot there. That little black spot there. <clears throat> and 
And what these lines are, kind of like a pattern in the sand. Kind of the ripples of the wind blowing it. Because I've noticed with gold and the silver, when I've done backgrounds on them, if you run lines, it'll when it dries, they'll still show like that. And it kind of gives it a little bit of dimension to it. And uh, so it's really nice to see that. It just adds a little bit more without really adding any paint at all. So that's why I put those lines in there. Just kind of give it a, a little bit of depth to it. And uh, so there you go. We'll wait for this bad boy to dry and then we will um, get the car on it, resin it, and have a nice finished piece.